you guys preparing in Spencer can't go? Well, first of all, we're just going to see how it goes. All hands are on deck. But when it's all said and done with, hey, <laughs> we just roll. <laughs> we, we go out and play. Hand off, Damian Williams, driving into the, the end zone. Touchdown! Damian Williams driving, driving, driving! Touchdown! Good tough Kansas running by Williams State. being able to punch that across. So they... Nice job! Nice job! Nice job! Nice job! I really like a man. What was your impression of what Damian was able to do last week against the Chargers? Well, I wasn't surprised. You know what I mean? And the way that I've always built every room I've been in, you know, from on the college level, is built it from the bottom up. Simply because you know just the nature of our position that them guys down the line are going to play. In this system, you need to be a well-rounded back. So you need to be able to catch it. You need to be able to um, protect the quarterback. You know, and obviously you need to be able to rush the ball. You know, and be assignment sound across the board. I know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to do. That's my love, bro. I know what you're going to do. And during the work week, I put those guys in positions to go out there and perform and gain the coach's trust in practice. You know, and Damien was somebody who waited his opportunity and then made sure that he was in a position to show what he showed. How does that, that energy kind of permeate through the entire team when they see a guy out there doing what he was doing? Well, I mean, just in that room, we want to take the responsibility of carrying the load when we need to. Who's going to be the reason? Who's going to be the reason? That's production on the field and energy. You know, I mean, we pride ourselves in being a tough guy room, providing a spark physically. You know, and ultimately, we'll do whatever the team, you know, is, is required for us to do. but. You know, you're gonna hand, turn around and hand us the rock. I mean, we, you know, we, we get really amped up for that. And again, that just goes to the mentality of the room. We want the ball in our hands whenever we can get it. Williams wide open, right side, room to run. 35, 40, 45 to the 50. Damian Williams, he's zeroing in on 100 all purpose yards in this first quarter. But finishing this run, is Damian Williams is showing something here tonight. Well, you're not kidding. And he just ran over Derwin James, who I was talking about earlier. Former running back, is there something pretty special about running through a guy as opposed to running around a guy? Well, I mean, for me, it's always been the goal of averaging two yards after contact, period. You know, and so in order to do that, you need to build up some velocity. You know, so again, everywhere I've been, I brought it here um, as far as just putting that mindset in that room today. You know, yeah, we're going to have some finesse. We're going to do some things like that. We're going to make guys miss. But at the end of the day, we're going to put our shoulder down and run through somebody. Daryl Williams back in the right hip of Mahomes on second down and 10 at the 11. Play fit. Mahomes running right, now turning left. They got a screen set up. Left side, Daryl Williams, 10 5, touchdown! Kansas City! It's Daryl Williams! Hey, 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 uh, what have you seen from him over the last few months that made you know that he was ready for that moment? I've been aware of Daryl for, for several years, so um, even during the rookie minicamp, I mean, he played and presented himself as a veteran player. That carried on through through preseason. So I never had any doubt of, of what he could do when he's put in a position to go out and help the team. And I think the whole world got to see it.